Queuing up in the damp Connecticut cold, people from Newtown and beyond waited to hear the president weigh in on unspeakable tragedy. I would ask why would anyone want to do this to anyone because that it's just really mean. 11-year-old Ashley Hammond says she'd ask that question to the president. In his fourth year of office, it was another sorrowful visit for Barack Obama to console a community in shock from a mass shooting. Can we honestly say that we're doing enough to keep our children, all of them, safe from harm? In a vigil for the fallen, the president admitted that none of his words would match the grief many are feeling. Can we claim as a nation that we're all together there, letting them know that they're loved and teaching them to love in return? He told the community of Newtown, the site of the second deadliest school shooting in U.S. history, you are not alone, and issued some of the strongest words on what must change. Are we really prepared to say that we're powerless in the face of such carnage? That the politics are too hard? The massacre of 26 children and adults at Sandy Hook Elementary on Friday elicited horror around the world. Ten-year-old Aiden Foss lived through it. it. It was terrifying. He goes to Sandy Hook Elementary and watched the president speak on Sunday. Well, it was very touching and too. Um, it did mean a lot, and the you know, part about like that everyone needs to change to make us a better com com community or place. It was pretty touching. Benjamin, Avaliel, Allison. God has called them all home. In the coming week, families will begin burying their dead. Mothers and fathers will say goodbye to 20 children killed by a lone gunman, who authorities said had enough ammunition to kill almost every child at the elementary school he laid siege to. John Moan, Associated Press, Newtown, Connecticut.